Uh, but when the trough goes dry, uh, we start biting. So that becomes ugly, and it's almost, I have to say, uh, and hate to admit that it's, it's almost uh, human nature. What's important for us to continue to say, and, and, and it's the mantra over and over, no matter what type of library we represent, the idea is that libraries are valuable. They're valuable to our, our, our organizations, to our cities, to our counties. Uh, the fact that we're able to provide free information for people to make informed decisions is what we're all about in terms of this, this uh, country's democracy. Now, I will tell you, these are my personal opinions, you may agree or disagree, uh, but here is what I think we need to be prepared for, and that our new normal, and I think some of you are already going through this, really does equal the fact that our libraries have to change. That we're not getting the funding, whether it's a school library, an academic library, a public library, even a special library, you're not getting the funding uh, because the economy is putting enormous pressure on, um, uh, on uh, challenges in terms of how are we going to fund what we're doing and provide still good quality services to our users, our customers, our patrons, however you want to call them. We're also finding that um, the customer demand for more services, for more resources, for uh, the same amount of expertise is not going to go down and in fact that it's increasing. So, you know, we're, we're in a, a, a position where, um, you know, the funding isn't there, but the demand for services to continue uh, is, is going uh, on, uh, again, across multi-type libraries. So how can you deal with the new normal? And uh, first of all, I think that this is going to take a lot of trust, this is going to take a lot of respect and a lot of motivation, because I'm here to tell you folks, doesn't matter what type of library you're in, you're going to have to prepare for changes. You don't, you're not getting the same kind of funding that has allowed us to do what we've done in the normal that, as the normal that we knew it, uh, you know, two years ago. Um, there has to be a clear vision from our, our leaders, there had library leaders within the organization, and, and that clear vision has got to be articulated to everybody in the organization. This is very important because, you know, there's a rumor mill. You know, you, you hear in the newspaper or you, a city council, you're hearing that, you know, all the budgets are going to be cut. So it behooves everybody to keep the lines of communication very uh, open uh, so that the staff feels that they're, they're uh, getting a sense of, of what's going on and that they're free to share ideas. And I think that's probably part of, of some frustration that, that people may be experiencing. But more importantly, you're going to have to think out of the box. Everybody's going to have to think out of the box. Uh, as Felton said, you know, people say, well, you know, when, it go, when we get, when the money comes back in, you know, when the economy does uh, turn around, then we can go back to the way it was. You can't go back to the way it was. First of all, it's not going to turn around soon. And you're going to have to make some hard decisions. And you're going to have to be supportive of, of the team that's involved in, in making those decisions. So when you're thinking out of the box, you know, think about new ways that you can uh, do things to be creative, as Felton said, to be creative and to be innovative and, uh, and learn about new things that can be done given the, the constraints of, of funding and the, the possibilities or the realities of, of budget cuts. So for every single person that's here that's represent, representing whatever type of library that, that that we have that are public funded with our tax dollars, you really need to take charge of your destiny at work. And um, you know, you you can either you can either have the glass half empty or the glass half full. Um, but the fact of the matter is, is you're going to have to uh, work together uh, to make sure that the there is the organizational change that's going to require for you to do things differently, albeit still serve your, your customers uh, at the, you know, at the, at their expectations. Uh, and this is, you know, this is a, a challenge in itself. Um, this new normal that I'm talking about, 
it's going to be, you're going through the process now, it's going to require teamwork. You're going to have to work together. It's not just the library management's responsibility. Everybody has to figure out how in your department you can respond to the, to the, the call to think about how can we still serve our, our, um, our users with either less funding for materials or less funding for staff. But everybody has a role to play in, in this whole concept of new normal. If you, if you think of anything, think of the fact that it's, you can't go back to the way it was because, and, and to the normal as you know it. Uh, you're going to have to prepare for the new normal. Thank you very much. Next introduction is an Ohio librarian. Can I hear it for an Ohio librarian? Two <laughs> fine Ohio librarians I'll be introduced today. Sari Feldman is the executive director of the Cuyahoga County Library District and is currently the president of the Public Library Association. With more than 11,000 members, PLA is the fastest growing division of the American Library Association. Ms. Feldman's efforts have led to a 58% increase of circulation during her tenure at CCPL. And CCPL is one of the 10 busiest libraries in the country. Statistics which have led to the library being ranked the number one library system in the nation by Humans American Public Library ratings last year. Sari has also co-authored several publications on library services for children and families, including Learning Environments for Young Children and Serving Families and Children Through Partnerships. And we were very amenable to Ms. Sari Feldman because she used to be our Deputy Director and we love her here still. Please welcome Sari Feldman. lovely to be here and thank you all very much. Thank you for inviting me and uh, it's uh, great to be among such outstanding colleagues. Someone once told me that um, there are three things that make a successful individual. Knowledge, hard work, and optimism. And I think that is what makes a successful organization and in this case a successful library knowledge, hard work, and optimism. And actually, um, when I 